For me, it's not about looking at what we do tomorrow or today. It's about looking to what we do in the next three, four, five, ten 10 years out. That's part of my job, part of my team's job as well. My name is Reggie John. Now, welcome to Conversations. Conversations is an interview series that we record on site uh, from global air cargo and logistic events taking place from different parts of the world. And I'm in uh, Singapore at the inaugural edition of uh, Air Cargo Southeast Asia. And with me in conversation today is uh, Dennis Lister. Dennis is the uh, Senior Vice President Product and Innovation at Emirates Sky Cargo. Dennis, great to have you with us. Thank you, Reggie. It's amazing being here. Uh, before we get into the, the actual questions, uh, just to get a feedback from you in terms of uh, what is the sense that you get from the inaugural edition of uh, Air Cargo Southeast Asia, we are already on to the second day of the event. We are second day, and I must say I'm super encouraged to be here. Particularly for Emirates, it's important. Singapore is an important market for us. As you know, we operate three aircraft from Singapore. It's interesting to see that we see more people coming back, particularly with COVID behind us not so long ago. It's fantastic that people are now prepared to come out and meet again. We've had some amazing meetings with the industry, amazing meetings with customers. And for me, this is the place to do it. It's not as big as some of the other events, make no mistake, but I think it's a good start and I think we should continue to do this. And I'm looking forward to us progressing this in the near future again as well. Okay, I'm actually sitting in a beautiful air cargo booth of Emirates Sky Cargo and I can see all around the, the tagline, the world works better with Emirates Sky Cargo. We all of us know the, the importance of air cargo and uh, I like uh, Dennis to, to talk about your current role uh, a lot of the, the people who are watching this interview probably may not know what exactly is Senior Vice President for Products and Innovation at Emirates Sky Cargo. Tell us what actually is the role that you have. So you mentioned beautiful stand, and I, I think that emanates in everything that we do. And the business we are in is extremely dynamic. This environment is ever-changing. As you know, Reggie, this is an industry not for the lighthearted. And I think as Emirates, we like to remain ahead of the game. We like to be market leaders. This is important. The role, product, innovation, arguably strategy is my role. It is fundamentally probably one of the biggest building blocks for what we do. If you look probably in the last five to 10 years in this industry, products has become a lot more relevant and important. For me, it's not about looking at what we do tomorrow or today. It's about looking to what we do in the next three, four, five, 10 years out. That's part of my job, part of my team's job as well. If you look at the diversity of products we have, we have a range. And for us, it's about remaining in lockstep with our customers, with our partners, to ensure that we're bringing the latest innovations and products to the table. And that could be anything from moving oncology drugs to mangoes out of Pakistan. It could be absolutely anything wide and varied. And we're also faced with an amazing opportunity being a hub in Dubai that connects us to plus 140 destinations. So I think for me, part of my job is being having that laser focus on our product development. And the other thing is, for us, we want to ensure that we, at some point in time in the near future, that we can see our products actually gaining more traction and having more contribution of the total volume we carry than general cargo. I'm sure that if you do not innovate, you will perish. Uh, I think that's the rule of the game. Uh, Let's talk about uh, Emirates Sky Cargo products. I've taken a look at the website as you take, you, the drop-down menu is quite long. Uh, talk to us about uh, the different products that you already have. What are the kind of enhancement that you're bringing as part of innovative products for Emirates Sky Cargo? It is quite long, Reggie, and I, I think we must not be complacent. I think we need to look at actually, are some of those products even relevant in today's world? Do we need to actually look to reduce some of those and improve those? First point, we continue to invest in our products. We have invested a lot of capital, people, the so resources, ensuring that we are bringing the best products out to our customers. So some of the main ones that we are definitely looking at, and you know from the recent um, announcements we've made, really a lot of light around life sciences, that continues to be a core focus for us. The vital and medical devices has really picked up very well and there's been a very large interest from the community. And don't forget, regulatory authorities are changing things all the time. So for us, it's keeping an eye on those things and making sure our key products are constantly um, being reworked and innovated in that regard. The other one is definitely, which we find very interesting as we speak, is around um, valuable cargo. 
So if you look at the amount of gold, diamonds, currency, bullion moving around the world, that I believe has still got untapped opportunity for us. And we're looking as we speak to develop our hub further to accommodate that. We want to meet with partners in the likes of Hong Kong, Singapore. Singapore is a great market for oil shipping, gold and diamonds and uh, silver, as you know. Um, equally into Europe as we feed into Switzerland, into the UK um, and France, etc. There's so many markets that are connected and the United States, which is a big market for us too. We are now investing in that. In fact, I've just hired someone from the industry, it'll be announced next week, that will take on this vertical. So I think we should not necessarily just sit in a box and hope things come to us. We have to continuously look at our product diversification and see how we can enhance those. So for me, the big ones we've mentioned already and some of the smaller ones that we look to continue to develop as well. But it is an ongoing work on our end and we continue to innovate in that area. Dennis, uh, in the pandemic, we have seen the kind of products that probably people never imagined that these are things that would be carried in a plane, either in the bellies or on the main deck during the pandemic, also in the passenger cabins of uh, wide body um, the passenger airplanes. Uh, want you to kind of um, let your imagination run wild. What are the other categories of commodities that would probably come either on the main deck or on the, on the bellies on the air network? I love the question. And don't challenge me to say let my imagination run wild because that could run you forever. But I think what we have proven through some of the struggles that the industry has faced in the last two years um, is that anything is possible. If you look at the commodities that are moving on our planes today are shifting. Things are changing. Supply chains are shifting. The diversification of production in China now sh shifting out into some other parts of the world and a big push now from West Asia, etc. I think you do see more diversification in commodities. We see more e-commerce flying. There's a lot, quite a large, substantial share of volume coming out of the Far East, particularly out of Hong Kong, is now e-commerce. So you name it, we ship it, we fly it. And obviously the restriction to what you can send, so we have to be careful what we do send. But I think you can honestly think of anything we can more or less fly on on the bellies and on the main deck of the aircraft. Anything from flying satellites, which we've done recently, to carrying day-old chicks on the planes. So you can really let your imagination run wild because the opportunity is endless. Your other part of an important responsibility is innovation, how you innovate for your products and for your organization, for your customers. Uh, let's divide that innovation into two parts one is the digitalization part of it the technology how the technology platforms would help and the other one is the is a sustainability part when it comes to look at the equipment the aircraft that you fly we have seen a number of initiatives that are coming out of uh, sky cargo on the digitalization front there's been a lot of talk about uh, or restricted talk about uh, uh, digitalization when it comes to airway bill, electronic airway bill, and the capacity being sold and uh, bought on digital marketplaces. Tell us about what is innovation beyond that for Emirates Sky Cargo. I think we have to, I mean, you talk about airway bills, right? I think the industry is begging to get away from paper. I think that's a real, and I think those two points you raised, digitalization, sustainability, those are married somehow, in my opinion. Those are very connected. And I do think that if you look at the strong initiatives that we have taken on the digitalization as a first topic, has been instrumental in what we do. And we've had a very clear strategy, more than likely in the last five years, more specifically, more of a laser focus on that. We're working very close with the large platforms. We're very working very close in, de in developing a host-to-host -host type environment, connecting directly with our customers. We have to try and get away from people picking up the phone and making a phone call to make a booking. We have to get away from people sending an email to a call center to make a booking or to do a revised booking or to get a quotation. These things for me are legacy. Unfortunately, the industry has been quite slow to pick up the digitalization. The cargo industry is notoriously slow with these things, but I think we've made massive strides on the areas I've mentioned and we continue to do so. And every, every quarter or so you see an announcement coming from Emirates, we continue to develop in those areas on digitalization. And as I said, I think that connects very well into sustainability because all those initiatives that we take around making um, available people that can connect into platforms or, the, or into the websites, et cetera, starts removing the need for uh, paper, phone calls, emails. It really brings the efficiencies we need. 
you did make a mention of a host to host connection and i think the recent announcement uh, with qnnx mm -hmm. one of the biggest freight forwarders that was really in terms of taking the digitalization to a next level connecting either through apis or integrated seamless process between emirates sky cargo system with qnnx uh, information it system platform tell us about host to host connections and is this the beginning of many more such initiatives i think that's it it is that and i think it is that host to host connection to kunanago is a significant milestone in our digitalization strategy and what that essentially brings is the ability of emirates sky cargo sky chain to have a connectivity into the tms of kunanago and it allows a booking agent kunanago to access our standard and contract rates seamlessly and access capacity promptly. And I think that's the message. And we don't stop there. That's the starting point. And I think from there, we will start now with a few European countries and we will continue to proceed on that front. I think there, this is one of many things that we're doing and it's the start of many things we're doing. We have been slow to start, but now we're rapidly picking up pace to do more of that stuff. How rapidly do you think that you will or how aggressively that you will chase uh, the proliferation of digital transformation of the air cargo industry uh, beyond a certain geography, certain networks, certain markets? How will you make it all pervasive? I think all the markets are probably at different levels and, in different, and moving at different paces. Our strategy is clear. We want to make sure that we address all the markets, but it will be done in phases. So if you look, I don't think there's a, a silver bullet for this topic of digitalization. I think it's more of a buckshot approach or birdshot approach where you need multiple silver bullets to address this digitalization topic. One is the host to host. Two is connecting into the different platforms. Three is using our own uh, website. And, and, and then part of that is actually developing that further. We have an internal project underway at the moment where we look into enhance that so that the customer experience is better. So we pull customers to these platforms, to these websites, allowing them to access our capacity, our standard tariffs and our contract rates and make bookings promptly. I think it's not, again, it's not one solution. We need to provide multiple solutions that give access to our customers and all these various markets, whether it's a BCO, whether it's a, a 3PL, 4PL, I think all of them are at different levels in their own stride in terms of technology and digitalization. And therefore you can't turn one off. And therefore you cannot just have one solution. You need a diversification of solutions that we offer this to the customers it gives them access to our capacity. Eventually, they'll become more real-time and dynamic. And I think that's the beauty. We want to make sure that we want to optimize the load on the aircraft. And we want to make this transparent to our customers. That is, I want to end this conversation with your thoughts and reflections on sustainability as, as an industry goal to, to be sustainable by carbon neutral by 2050. Uh, of course, there are different opinions take on that particular target. But there are certain things within your control as, as an organization. What are some of the steps, some of the projects as part of a larger sustainability goals for Emirates Sky Cup? So I think first and foremost, we are very much committed to the IATA or the, I guess, the industry commitment to achieving net zero by 2050. So that doesn't change, that continues. There's a broader spectrum, we chase that down. In Sky Cargo though, we don't stop there. We continue, there's probably immediately, Reggie, if I think correctly, we're probably in about four or five initiatives straight off the bat that we're working on. So if you look at our warehouses, you know, I think you've seen our facilities in Dubai International Airport, state-of-the-art facility, DWC is another great showcase for that. There we're putting solar panels and those will be implemented by the end of the year. Another thing is looking at our freighter operations. How can we better optimize the freighters so that ultimately we have better fuel burn on those aircraft, whether it's the load and the way we load the freighters to give us those better efficiencies. That's a second one. A third one is looking at our pallets. You look at all the pallets flying around the world. Majority of those are wooden pallets. We're actually now looking to utilize a lot of the lightweight plastics. So that brings efficiencies. We're looking at the you know, the plastic sheets that come over the PMCs. We today have taken an initiative that 75% of the plastic sheets used is recycled and reused over and over again. So for me, that's a big stride um, into moving that forward. And, um, and I think there's a lot more going on. If you look at identifying 
our carbon that's been utilized, carbon cal- calculator that we've created. That's another way of, of indicating to our customers, what is your footprint on the bit of cargo you carry on the aircraft? So we continue to drive. And those are just five of the initiatives we're working on at the moment. Dennis, thank you so much. As always, it's been always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Reggie. And uh, it's great being here with you. And thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you, sir.